Okay, uh, a few days ago I had posted this video with a bunch of annotations and I told you there was a link to a hidden video somewhere in those annotations. Now obviously you could click through and close each one of these till you find the proper one and that would work, but there is a better way of doing this. Now originally the way I was going to show you how to do this when I first uh, started working on this video was in the past when annotations come like this, the annotation file is actually stored in your temporary folder, or at least it used to be, and you could search through that. Um, seems like that is no longer how it is stored, much like YouTube videos used to be stored in your temp folder, and YouTube uh, disabled that because they don't, they don't want you downloading the videos, even though it's still easy to do. But you can still access the annotation file, which is an XML file, and it's rather simple. Let's open up a new tab here, and I'm going to just paste in this link here. And we have google.com forward slash reviews forward slash y forward slash read to question mark video underscore ID equals. And then we just need to put the ID of this video, which is actually just at the end here of the actual video. So we will take that, paste it in there, and hit enter and depending on your web browser but Firefox brings up the whole HTML or sorry XML file that you can look through and you can see all the annotations in here so that's great and you can just search through this you know hitting control F and searching for keywords but we're going to look at it from the command line since that's what these tutorials are about so that's one way to bring it up but also we could also do this uh, we can use a uh, text-based browser inside the terminal such as Lynx uh, which may not be installed by default but is something that is available in most repositories and I use all the time we're going to use dash dash dump and we can paste in that link we just copied from Firefox and we can hit enter and you can see that it pastes out all the annotations but it doesn't actually paste out the um, XML portions it pastes out just the outputs basically the stuff within the tags not the tags and we're actually looking for a link that's inside the XML itself so instead of dump here we can do source and it'll actually dump out the XML instead of just the annotation text which is more of what we want now we can continue like that and pipe this into grep like so we'll say grep and we know that we are looking for a YouTube link. And since we're looking for a link, let's just try searching for HTTP and see what comes up. Look at that. We have an HTTP link within there. Now, depending on what you're looking for, you might find others, but this annotation file, uh, there's only one link in it, and there it is to the hidden video. So you're good from there. You can click on that, open it up, or use uh, YouTube Downloader and MPlayer to stream it, or YouTube uh, DL to just download it. Um, but I want to show you real quickly just a, another way of doing the same thing because there's usually more than one way to do something. And as I said, links isn't usually installed by default, although it is available in the repositories in most systems. But wget is available on most systems by default, pretty much every Linux system I've ever seen, even the little tiny ones. So let's use wget and we will paste in our link from earlier the one that has the link to the annotations itself, the google.com reviews why read to uh, question mark and then the variable of the uh, video ID and then the actual video ID. Now um, doing that will download the file and you know there is a way to redirect it through uh, a pipe symbol directly into grep. I'm drawing a blank now that I'm recording the video but it doesn't matter we'll just download the file we'll say dash o uh, dash capital O for output and we'll save it to our temp folder we will just call it an.txt for annotation text and once it's downloaded now we can say grep and we can say HTTP and we can say the file that we just downloaded and we get the same thing as before there's the link to the hidden video so uh, go ahead give that a try and uh, watch the hidden video if you didn't already find it yourself. I thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. 
And once again, I hope that you have a great day.